some uh, statements made by some unknown people through social media about numbers. And I want to put the record straight for the avoidance of doubt. And I would like to say the following, that a matter like this is a national security matter. That's why you're seeing us here from time to time. If it wasn't a serious national security matter, the security minister will not be coming here every two other days. He'll be somewhere else where there is a, a security matter. And being a national security matter, we have made it very clear that we have nothing to hide. We will provide information on a daily basis, but what we have asked for is that that, that information be given in a coordinated way so that all the agencies collect the information and one of our colleagues who is here on that particular moment when the information is being released is able to share it with the members of the public as accurately and as verifiable as it can get. So far, I have seen some statements not associated with uh, uh, any known person, because these are posts in social media about numbers. I want to appeal to the people of Kenya, including the people in the social media, to take national security and public safety issues with a little more sensitivity and decorum. We can joke about many things, about many things, especially in this country where we like doing politics and doing and arguing and disagreeing on many things, which is a good thing in itself. But when it comes to serious things like death of our people, it is such a serious matter that you would be a very heartless human being to try and trivialize and cast as passions or try to make that matter look like it's a small matter which is subject to banter and debate. I repeat, security communication is sensitive. It must be done carefully by the right person who has the authority to say that. There are some things even myself I cannot say. I will defer to the relevant agencies to say it themselves. So let us be careful because it is clear, dear Kenyans, it is clear that we lost children and it is bad. It is a bad thing. We just hope it never happened. It is unfortunate it happened. But it is also clear that now we are in a good place to confirm the numbers of the affected children who were in that dormitory. When I came on Friday, I, there was a lot of push, especially from the media, for me to say how many children are where, and I resisted that temptation deliberately. And I said, I'm sorry, I, even if I disappoint you, I will not give you that information that time because we were still reconciling. Some children had ran to neighbors, some other children had been picked by parents, some children we suspected were still trapped. They had already died and they were in the scene of crime, which we had not started processing. So it would have been very reckless for me to come and say, okay, this is the number. Uh, uh, of children that are affected this way or that way. But today, I am reliably informed that that process of reconciliation and accountability of the numbers is complete. That on the school, that school, and let me read so that I also don't run the risk of, 
of uh, getting it different. The kids that were enrolled in this school, 843. Out of the 843, the children who were enrolled as boarders, as children sleeping in the school, 330. Meaning the balance were day scholars. Out of the 330 children or pupils who were boarders, boys, 164. Girls, 166. As you are aware, the dormitory that burned down was the boys' dormitory which had or was supposed to have all the boys and the number I've given is 164. Out of the boys who were supposed to be in that dormitory, the 164, 143 are alive. And out of the 143, 140 are with their parents. Three are still receiving treatments, and we believe they will be released to their parents as soon as they are certified, fully recovered by the doctors. And therefore, 140 of the boys are with their parents, three in hospital, total 143. The fatalities. 21 children, unfortunately, perished in that fire. Any other person trying to play whatever game, trying to advance some whatever other statistics, is a heartless criminal and an enemy of the society. Because when we are hurting at a time like this, this is not the time to bring triviality. Once more, the government regrets the tragedy that struck our children. at Hillside and Russia School. The government sympathizes with the affected families. The government will support those families to ensure there is closure and to ensure there is justice because we will find the truth. We will establish the truth of what happened. In the event that this catastrophic event was caused by a person, we will pursue and get justice on behalf of the families. And all those people who may have contributed to this tragedy through action, inaction, conduct, misconduct, advertently, inadvertently, will be brought to account. Na washukuru sana, na watakia baraka ya mwenyezi mungu, yaliyo tendeka hapa, ni mamba ya kusikitisha, tunaomba radhi na kuwapatia pole, pole familia zote, silizo usika, kwa sasa, watoto walio athirika, kati ya watoto mianane, Arubaini na watatu walio kuwa katika shule hii ni watoto miatatu thalathini walio kuwa wanafunzi wa mabweni wa kulala. Kati ya hao, miamoja, sitini, nane walikuwa wavulana, 
na 166 wasichana. Bweni lililochomeka ni bweni la wavulana ambao nimesema walikuwa 164. Kati ya hao tu e, watoto wa mawavulana 143 wako hai. 140 wakiwa na wazazi wao, watatu wakiwa hospitalini. Kwa bahati mbaya tumepoteza wavulana wetu na moja wamehifadhiwa katika chumba hiki cha kuhifadhia maiti upasuaji unaendelea tumechukua chembe chembe ambazo zitatumiwa katika ku, kujua kutambua miili ya wao watoto ili tuwapatie wazazi wao waende wakawapumzishe na serikali itatoa msaada wowote ambao utahitajika kusaidia familia hizi. Na shukuru vitengo vyote vimehusika katika kusaidiana katika utekelezaji wa kazi hii ikiwemo idara ya upelelezi wa jinai, uh, idara ya upasuaji uh, wa maiti na idara zingine zikiwemo shirika la msalaba mwekundu, serikali ya kaunti ya Nyeri na idara zingine zote zikiwemo vitengo vya usalama na maofisa wa utawala. Asanteni sana Mungu awabariki eh, na naomba tuachie hapo eh, kama kuna taarifa zingine mungetaka wenzangu wako hapa. The officers you see here are very senior officers. They will give you on a needs basis if it is possible whatever information required. Thank you very much. God bless you. I'll see you again in a few days.